schools exert significant influence over young minds. Consequently, parents often have strong opinions if schools are exposing their children to ideas that conflict with religious beliefs. In Parker v. Hurley, we explore constitutional challenges that parents may assert in that context. While in kindergarten and first grade at a Lexington, Massachusetts elementary school, Jacob Parker was exposed to two books that showed families with same-sex parents alongside other family types. Jacob's parents, David and Tanya Parker, disagreed with that exposure because same-sex relationships were against the family's Christian beliefs. They asked to receive advance notice of and the opportunity to exempt their children from any instruction referencing same-sex relationships. The school's principal, followed by the district superintendent, William Hurley, declined the Parker's request. The Worthlin son, Joseph, attended the same school. His second-grade teacher read a book to the class that ended with a wedding between two princes. The Worthlins also objected on religious grounds. Again, the school refused to provide advance notice or exemption. The Parkers and Worthlins filed suit against Hurley and other school-affiliated parties. The parents claimed that the public school was indoctrinating their children in beliefs contrary to the family's religious beliefs, and doing so violated both the parents' and children's right to the free exercise of religion and the parents' due process right to parental autonomy in child-rearing. The district court dismissed the parents' suit for failure to state a claim on which relief could be granted, and the parents appealed to the First Circuit.